Hello lovelies, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Hannah and this is the place where I watch basically whatever I want. And yes, I am finally here with some new content, but this is not really new if you have seen um, the episodes, but I was recently featured on Culture Clash, obviously, and I had such a great time. Both Chuck and Jay were super kind to me, and I really enjoyed our conversations, um, and I think it was really enjoyable and also really insightful. Um, and yeah, so I just got off it just like a little bit ago, and I am now going to uh, be showing you some clips of it. Now, we watched both Tony Talks and P Popcon from, I believe, 2022, um, or it was 2021, either one of those. It was actually YouTube Fan Fest 2021. Sorry about that. I think it was 2021, actually. Um, but we watched both of those, and I will be posting them both for you. I don't know if it's going to be in the same day, of course, because that's a lot to do. Uh, but I believe that we are going to be doing it over the course of a few days, maybe. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun. I <laughs> really still can't believe it. Um, and thank you, everybody who watched it live and watch the replay uh it means a lot and if you want to watch um this video really thank you um and yeah i don't know what else to say really i will say real quick as a disclaimer that we filmed this over uh two days or live streamed this over two days technically um because of some technical issues that we had during the first day um so i will be doing most of what you'll see will be first reactions obviously but we watched the whole thing over again in the second live stream um and so there was like about half like 10 minutes of it, um, we watched over again, and I think we still had some insightful things to say, um, so I will be including some cuts of um, our conversations that uh, happened, so if it's a little bit split up weirdly, and I come on with different makeup than I had, um, because I obviously did it over the course of two days, so if it looks a little weird, then I apologize, but I wanted to include um, what I thought was interesting, uh, and yeah, thank you for for watching and i hope you enjoy it so let's go on to some clips from the live stream um so yeah let's go all yeah. right let me pull it up here so um this is That's going to be the galog but um, i'm sure you're used to reading subtitles so oh yeah all the time yeah. of course if you want to like say something anything at all just say and i'll pause it all right mm. can i say one thing before you play it absolutely dude Pablo is so fucking handsome. Sorry, my my. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Josh looks really good here too. I haven't seen this video That's yet, good. obviously, because we're watching. And it I love right Justin's now. long hair. Long hair era, Justin. A petition for him to come back with long hair. Yes, I loved it. In like it, what, especially it was like so 100%. pretty. With the I'm sure you liked it. it too, Chuck. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. You guys hear it loud and clear, at least. I hear it, yeah. Love this it year, no April 29, they became the first Filipino and Southeast Asian act to be nominated in Billboard Music Awards for Top Social Artists along with BTS, Blackpink, Ariana Grande, and Seventeen, at nanalo dun yung BTS. But it marked the first ever appearance of a Filipino artist in the Billboard Music Awards. We have with us SV90. Yay! Hello, Tony. Wow. Well, last oh year, nakausap God. po kasi kayo. Vir virtual lang, hindi ba? Yeah, well. First time po kayong ma-meet in person. And I wanna personally congratulate you. Dahil from last year, parang ang laki na nang nabago. Ang laki na nang nangyari sa SV19. Worldwide recognition. Parang mm -hmm. sobrang, ano yun, no? laking blessing. Yes po, super po. Ang daming opportunities na nagbukas. Tapos ayun, mas parang... Feeling ko namin nagkaroon talaga siya ng parang uh, syempre po yung ginagawa namin all throughout the years. Parang nagbunga rin po talaga. Oo, oh, nagbunga. Kasi nung parang last year, nung nag-usap tayong lima online, parang medyo di ba there was a time na parang nagko-contemplate kayo kung itutuloy nyo pa ba yung mm. career nyo as a group. Dahil yeah, of course. Dahil for a long time, walang nangyayari. Hindi ba? Ano nga po ngayon po, talagang thankful kami kasi po kahit na pandemic, mahirap po yung sa industry natin, ganyan po. 
pero um, patuloy pa rin po yung career namin at least po parang meron pa rin po kaming ginagawa kahit po nasa pandemic tayo and mm. yun nga po yung before na parang gusto na- I'm curious Hannah I mean I'm sure you've experienced pandemic how was it like in Sweden when when you experienced that yeah. I I think it was very different from many places because we didn't really oh. I mean, it was kind of a weird point for me too, because I had just graduated and I was going into high school. That was the year. It was 2020. Uh, I was right. 15. Oh, right. Yes, I was 15 mm-hmm. in 2020. Um, and so I just graduated and I was changing schools and everything. And for a bit, nothing really changed. Um, but oh, okay. in like the winter, like during the Christmas time was when yeah. everything really shut down. And so... It was quite weird. It was just snowy all the time, and I was sitting at home for like three months straight, basically. And so oh, that was like, man. yeah, that was our version of it. So we were like off and on for like half a year, basically. Um, and then I just graduated and had summer. It was it was weird, but for many places it was like much more. Um, right, crazy, right. So I'm everything sure. everything was locked down for you as well, then. Yeah, yeah. Right, we didn't yeah. have. School. It was like three months of no school, and then we did like half and half. So because that I did theater, awesome, <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah, it, it was, was cool. great. <laughs> it was great because I did theater. Yeah. It's kind of hard to do it when you're not right. in the like in school, you know. Oh yeah, uh, that's, so that's we did mm-hmm. sort of like all my theater lessons were there, but everything else was at ho- was at home. So that was our right, schedule right. for a bit. Yeah, yeah. But it was quite uh, difficult. What was like for you? Ex- Yeah, it was crazy, dude. I was at work. I I I, I used to work in a call center, right? Yeah. I was in the office, and when the uh, pandemic was like announced in the Philippines, like from now on, no work. Like you have to work at home. I literally had to bring my office computer with me, mm-hmm. and oh, there wow. were no vehicles. I don't have a car, so I walked like I don't know five miles just to get home. And with yeah, with computer. my computer. So goodness, yeah. my But God, it was, suck. it was fun because a lot of us are walking home. So so many people because uh, there were everything. Every everyone were just in panic. So right, no right. one's like there's. You don't see vehicles. You don't see a lot of vehicles. No one's commuting. So we just walked, yeah. and hmm. it was yeah interesting. How about you, Jay? How was it? Sadly for me, um, I mean, obviously there was a lot of lockdowns. There was still a lot of people that were able to work from home because that was their job. But for me, working in a liquor store, it was completely mm. different. It was recommended that you have to stay open no matter what. <laughs> so I was working day in day out during lockdown oh, wow. pandemic. People coming in with masks and always having to yeah. sanitize and getting mm. catching COVID like five times. So I've had it like five Yeesh. times now. Um, so I'm just Jesus. numb to it now. <laughs> So I was literally in the in the middle of everything when COVID like got got to the worst that it did here. Like it didn't matter like if everything was locked down, I still had to be in public all the time. So yeah, COVID was my friend. <laughs> Man, you're you're immune at this point. Five times catching yeah. it, damn, bro. Yeah. And I've been I've been completely vaccinated too, and I've still kept catching it. So I was like, all right, well, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. I think I've only had it once, so that's good for you. Oh, you did! I never, never had it. I mean, oh. you know, how, how, did did, wow. did you even feel it? Like, how was? Did you get sick or something? Yeah, yeah. My COVID experience was very intense. I had it like a two week long flu. I, oh, I, I get like oh, wow. I don't get easily sick, but when I do, it's the worst uh, every time. Yeah. Like I haven't gotten sick for since having COVID, basically. Oh. Um, But yeah, it was like really it was intense. <laughs> wow! I don't really get sick, thankfully. Oh, that's awesome. You're a machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, how was it, Jay? I'm curious. Like, how um, did it actually, feel? Actually, for me uh, personally, like I've heard a lot of horror stories that when people got COVID, it was so bad for them. But for me personally, mm-hmm. it wasn't as bad. It was. It was just like a flu, uh, like a cold for me. It wasn't even that bad. Every time I got it, in fact. When I got vaccinated, it was worse getting the vaccination than actually getting COVID. When I got COVID, I was fine. I was like, "Oh, this is just a cold. What's everyone going on about?" And then I know people that are like in the hospital, like with it, can't breathe, and I'm sitting going, "I'm fine." At the time, COVID was at its height. My daughter was just a newborn. She was two months old, and even she caught mm-hmm. COVID. Even my wow. two month old caught COVID, oh, and she was dangerous. also fine though. Like I don't uh, know, my experience with it wasn't really that bad, but a lot of other cute. people had bad experiences, so I can't say. That it's not a bad thing, but yeah, it wasn't too bad for me. 
that lucky. Is, yeah, good for you, man. At least I mean th- that's yeah. still scary. Fun fact, by the way, when yes. SB19 were shooting um, the Watt music video, they didn't know all of them got COVID already. Um, they only found out <laughs> later. So when they were yeah, about it- to like do a tour. Uh, nationwide tour that's when they found out that everyone's oh. got covid so yeah that, shut that down <laughs> yeah tough. man yeah that's why they went on a hi- hiatus after that so mm. anyway thank you for sharing guys that was fun right, let start ang sb19 2018 but before kayo i-launch ilang years kayo na nagtraining ng workshop, oh. singing. Medyo baka po, ano yung Paul, ulit din po yung ginagawa namin minsan parang nalalost track na po kami sa oras talaga. Kasi parang araw-araw <laughs> training po kami. Type, Saturday, <laughs> and Sunday. Nagda-training po kami. Tapos kami-kami lang yung magkakasama. So parang tuloy-tuloy lang na parang hindi namin alam po anong araw na gano'n. Yung time na yun, parang sabi niyo, diba? Dapat madidisband ako. Yeah. Yeah. We all know the grind. Out na, pero isa lang ang nagstay. So, dumating sa point na talagang wala nang nangyayari sobrang tagal na nating nagte-training so na pag-decide po ay before po po kami mag-debut maraming pa pa kami kaming kasama noon po eh tapos nalagas na lang opo oh, para nag unti-unting oh. umaalis tapos na pag-decide right. nga po nung one point na yon na nag-alisan lahat pero si Stel nag-decide po siyang mag-stay bakit stay <laughs> <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> that was, yeah, that was also one of the moments where in when I watched your video and I was like, ah, oh, the, the like the determination and the strength to continue when like everybody yeah. else was like, I don't think this is for me. This is not going to work out. And he was like, no, I'm going to I'm going to stay and try to at least get somewhere. It, it was very Fox. cementing for me too, where I was like, yeah, I I, I, like I picked the right bias. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that's a proud Absolutely. moment for you. Yeah, yeah, I was like, this is very much like, he's how do you say it? He's for me. I don't know if that doesn't make sense. Oh, I love that. Okay, yeah. I love that. <laughs> Destiny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos sobrang happy ko kasi sobrang dami kong kasama. Mix pa po kami na may girls pa kami before. Kaya sobrang saya ko every time na magti-training. Though kahit alam ko po na walang nangyayari. Pero yung ginagawa po namin sama-sama, sobrang na, na, ano, na-enjoy ko po yun. Working with them together. Kaya nyo gustong mag-quit nung time na yun. Kasi di ba parang it was 3-4 years of ah. just training. And you gave up so much. Goodness. Yes. Ba, wala yes. Kayong so much hard work and dedication. Oh yeah, that too. Um, ilan I always forget that. Ilan sa center agent? Ako po. Ako po nag-work din, pero real estate po yung saan. Data diba? analyst po. You get, yeah. Is it a yeah, normal so... thing to work as a call center agent in the Philippines? Is that like a normal job? Um, yeah, it, cool? I mean, it's it, it, there's a lot of call center buildings here in the Philippines. And mm. the right. reason behind that is... Uh, they are able to like get employees here easier like we are oh, cheaper right. i guess and they're saying uh, a lot yeah. because yeah uh, filipinos are, are easily contented with with the, with the wage so mm. right, yeah right. so oh, right, cause like, I, I did yeah. i did be hearing so much like i know so many filipinos like that say that they've worked at a call center agent agency i'm like oh wow <laughs> I, I just keep hearing it so i was just wondering if it was common yeah, and uh, like Filipinos are mostly um, well versed in English. Like it's easier to teach yeah. Filipinos English than most other right, right. Uh, nationalities. Mm, yeah, I, I think 100%. it's uh, the language thing. Um, so yeah, you're better at English than I am, and English is my only language. <laughs> oh no, no man, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> all right, gave up your real jobs for a dream na hindi kayo sigurado oh, nung time. So parang if it would work. in reality, kapag reality check. Ano bang pupuntahan ng buhay yes, ko dito? Kasi, Saka syempre yung family nyo siguro, oh, diba? Oh, Nagtataka ko, ilang taon ka na dyan, parang hindi ka naman kumikita, oh, diba? Oh. Mm. Dapat po kasi talaga may backup plan kapag gano'n eh. Lalong lalo oh, na po, ang hirap po talaga ng buhay. Na parang tatlong taon na nga po kami nagtitraining, tapos wala pa rin nangyayari. Mapapareality check ka talaga na parang, oh, anong tama pa ba tong ginagawa ko? Tapos lahat ng uh, tao sa paligid mo sinasabi, eh, tigil mo na yan, grabe, tatlong taon ka na, wala yeah. ka naman nakukuha dyan, wala ka naman napapala. Tapos may isip mo, mapasok talaga sa isip mo, oh, tama pa ba ang ginagawa ko, tigil ko na kayo. Can I just say that this, this isn't a testament to why you should never give up and never give up your dreams. Because there was one yes. point in time where SB19, they were even feeling themselves that this wasn't going to happen and they 
were so close to giving up. Yeah, look at them now. This is a yeah. bigger testament to that fact that you should never give up your dreams no matter what. I love that. Yeah. yeah. It, it was never a walk in the park for them. They they worked for, it, for sure. Yeah. Wow. Hindi naman po kasi lahat ng gumaga tao pinala din sa buhay. Parang katulad ko po na parang syempre nagte-training po ako pero honestly wala akong makain sa araw-araw. Nanghihingi ako ng baon kay ano, Paolo, ganun. Naging Bro, they were not living, they were surviving, dude. Yeah. I know. Like day to day. That's crazy. That's insane. They're, they're still here. Every day. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say they're still here. So Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can do it if you really put your mind to it. Even things like food and stuff like that is yeah. sometimes for a lot of people can be temporary and you just gotta get through it. And they did. Yeah. It's crazy. Then yung nagquit po kami na ano, si still next day, parang paglabas ko po ng building, sabi ko. Parang, eh, yung decisions ko ba tama, gano'n. Kasi talagang medyo nabagabag po ako, parang gusto ko agad bumalik kasi nga next day si Stel. Sabi niya, parang kasi ko naniniwala siya, but but di ako maniwala din, parang gano'n. Mm-hmm. Bumalik po ako at itong career na to or itong ginagawa ko na to, sabi ko marami na rin po ako na-invest. At parang gusto kong bigyan ng chance. Kasi parang yun nga po, susukuan mo kung hindi mo bigyan ng chance. Hindi, parang hindi, hindi, hindi mo mapatunayan sa sarili mo na ano eh na kaya mo eh, ganun eh. Kung bagay mga bagay na uh, itatry mo, itsagari mo na, kung bagay i-ano mo na, bigay mo na, bigay mo na lahat. Mo na lahat. Ganun. Oh, para wala, pag nag-walk away ka, wala kang pagsisisihan. Habang, habang bata pa po, habang kaya pa ng, alam nyo yeah. po, kaya mo pa. Kasi in the future, what if, yun nga, mapunta ka kung saan, ganun, wala ka ng chance gawin yung passion mo. I just want to say something about what Pablo said earlier. Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, you did the yeah. muting like I did. <laughs> Because um, sometimes the people closest to you can, will say no to your aspirations. So sometimes they would be in the way, right? And sometimes yeah. you gotta just trust your gut and and just yeah. keep going. You know, um, it's a hard decision to make, and it just is. gladly they push through. You know, yeah, no, 100%, 100%, 100%. It's tough. I mean, it is a hard decision to make. Like you're not knowing where it's gonna go, and you're just putting you're all into it and you're just like not having it because Pablo said before you've got to have a backup plan but essentially they didn't really have a backup plan they just put it all yeah. into it you know what I mean and um, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's a scary thing to do that uh, you know going into the unknowing is a really scary thing mm. yeah did you like experience that Jay like you're a rapper you know aspiring rapper did your parents ever told you that hey you, you got you're not gonna get any anywhere with your rapping and, and your YouTube like I mean have you gotten that Also, um, Hannah. I, I'll let I'll let Hannah. I'll let you explain first. Okay. Explain. Yeah. I mean, I don't make music. Obviously, I did theater, but I think many, especially older people, they don't see it as a real job. Like, especially acting. Yeah. I think if you listen to actors talk about it, they're like, "Yeah, my parents yeah. didn't even see it as a real career um, because you know it's much more unstable." Um, mm. And my parents don't know about my YouTube, so they don't have anything to say about that. But yeah, for sure, oh. Uh, oh. they were like, <laughs> they were like, yeah, you should probably think about something else as well. And you know, obviously, I did do that because I am not continuing with theater right now; uh, it's right. on pause. Um, but yeah, definitely for sure. And please and don't stop. Uh, you will be. You do big things. I, I I truly believe that. So please don't stop. I just want to say. Oh, that. thank you. I mean, I would love to continue, but you know. It's I'm I'm really busy right now as well, but right, I feel that I would love to, but um, for sure, I have a little bit of an advice. Uh, maybe you can start telling your parents about it because you will it will sometimes surprise you. I mean, yeah. I, I'm saying this because um I did I was th- that once like I did YouTube yeah. didn't tell my mom, but when she found out about it, she was like posting me all, all over her timeline. It's quite embarrassing at some point. My dad does that. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, she's not here anymore. I mean, God rest her soul, but I loved her so much. And that, I, you know, it's surpri- it can surprise you. You know, I mean, um, maybe yeah. once, maybe, I don't know, maybe once, some, sometime in the future, you could let them know. And um, yeah. yeah, you never know. They'll be, you, never know. you know, the most proud 
people for you. you know? <laughs> I hope so. Maybe when I hit 10k, I'll put that as a <laughs> as a reminder for myself. If I hit 10k yeah. ever, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. That's get out of 10k right now. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 yeah, no. Dude. But like, uh, you know. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? They will yeah. also like SB19, right? Your parents, right? right? You, might, <laughs> you could get them on a reaction showing my parents SB19. That could do well. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably could, but Giving I don't you know. Content about ideas that. here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They'd probably be like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> they listen to like metal, so I don't know if. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah. Okay. They're like metal heads, hey, but I don't okay. know. Okay. Right, right. Okay. Interesting. Oh, for me, okay. For me, it was a, a little bit different. Um, uh, my parents always knew from a young age that I, because I'm a very outspoken like person when it comes to my family. I always tell them my dreams mm -hmm. and aspirations. It's something I can't hide because I'm I'm a little bit ADHD. So when I get excited about something, I always have to go to my parents. Hey, look, I just made this song. Hey, look, I just did this video. Hey, like, I'm that type of person, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and so they always knew about my dreams and aspirations. And thankfully, um, you know, my parents were actually very supportive, you know, from day one, they were always very supportive. They were always like cheering me on, telling me like to always go for your dreams. Like even as a young kid, when I first started rapping, I performed in front of my school and my parents would always tell me like, you can do it, you can do it. You know, always, you know, put your mind to it and accomplish anything. My own father even actually, um, he even always annoyingly sometimes because it's a cringe for me. I will see him post me all the time. I'll upload a video. There we go. I got another post my father. Check my son's video. I'm like, oh God. But I do appreciate it because it makes me realize like, you know, one day, uh, you know, sadly he's not going to be here and I'll probably end up missing that. So I do really appreciate it. But yeah, um, I've been lucky enough to have uh, good support from my, from my parents. Um, but I have had ex partners that haven't supported my dreams mm. and aspirations, unfortunately. And have told me that, no, you're not going to make it. You're not going to do anything. And, and I'm not going to support you if you make it. So I have had that before, but I've always had pretty good luck with my parents. So nice. Yeah. yeah that's great. All right. Nothing but love. Okay, let's go. Paano po masok pala si Ken sa grupo? That time po, nag-stop po ako sa study kasi po, ewan ko po ano po masok sa isip ko. Sabi ko lang pa sa papa ko, pa gusto ko po magpahinga muna. Sabi ko, Ang bait ng papa mo ha? Ano yung college ka? Yes po, college po ako. Sige po, tapos. Sige, pahinga ka muna anak. Tapos, ito si Josh. Oh, yeah. architecture student ka, di ba? Yes po. Supposedly, mag-aaral na po ako kasi that was, ano ata yun? March or April? March, March. March. So, magpapasok ka na rin po. Tapos bigla ako oh. sinat na ito na ganito daw. Eh, sobrang na-intrigue ako sa, ayun nga, may gagawin daw ang group po ganito. Eh, Siyempre ako, <laughs> gusto gusto ko din po kasi dati po sumasayaw po kami. Sumasayaw po ako, nagkakalaban po kami sa competition dati ni Josh. Mm. Kami ni Lastel. Tsaka And si Pablo din, kumakanta siya siya ng time na yun sa competition din. So ayun, yung, yung sinabihan ko lang po talaga, yung lola ko lang po yung nakakaalam. Tapos, Wala ding pera, wala din akong pera doon. Sabi ko, paano ba to? So, mm. ah, sabi ko sa kanya, la, utang ka muna kay, ano, kay tita, gano'n. So, up, until, ano talaga, wala talagang, wala talagang pera. So, si Josh yung sumagot muna ng, ano, ng plane tickets ko mm. para makapunta dito. And, ayun po, fortunately, natanggap talaga ako. And, sobrang grabe yung kaba ko kasi, ano mangyayari sa akin, mag-work na lang ba ako after na ito? Kasi, Indeed, sure. Indeed. The thing about it is that they weren't that close before. They were like rivals. Like um, it, 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 the the mindset. Oh, I did hear was, about that. Th this guy yeah. was so good. I mean, I want him in, on my side. So that's that's how the yeah, thing yeah. was going on. So it's it's. I can't yeah. have him against me. It ain't happening. Otherwise, I'm screwed. <laughs> it's really so another interesting. group. Like yeah. he's gonna beat me someday. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have him on my side. Parang iniwan mo boy mo sa kagayan. Oh, so oh, oh, talaga iniwan mo talaga. Sabi ko, magkano dalawang pera, huh? pera nun? Magkano dalawang pera nun? 1.5 ba ito? 1.5 ba ito? Ano ba ito ka ng Manila? Naligaw pa po siya. Naligaw pa po ako. <laughs> yung 500 na sinahin ko sa up. taxi na sobrang lapit lang nung binyahe. Hindi ko na lang ako pa pa sa taxi. Ano ako pa pa ako sa taxi? That is in a lot. That's 25 bucks. 25 dollars USD? So I remember the, yeah. I remember you ended up getting scammed, right? From the taxi driver? Yes. He yeah. was... Um, yeah, he was going to be scammed by the taxi driver. I, I forgot. Uh, um, yeah, he was supposed to only pay 200 pesos, but he yeah. had to pay 800, something like Which that. Which is like, what's going on there? That's Jeez. so much. If that's 25, that's so much of that. It's like mm, half so of that. Much. That's so much. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know how you convert yet, and that sounded like not a lot to me. So, <laughs> wow, crazy. <laughs> Taxi, inikot-ikot ako, ako. Tapos, nandun lang pala ako. Sabi ko, dito lang ako nun na. Tapos, biglang bakit inikot-ikot pa ako sa malayo. Tapos, umating ng 500, hindi ko masahe ko. 
Kasi yeah. ako kan- paano lang pera ko nun? Wala <laughs> exactly. na. Saka yung ano ba yung, yung funny story ba? Kasi sa Cagayan ba yung flight niya? Pero sa ibang lugar siya nagpunta. Sa Sambanga. 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 Sa Yeah, also one more thing. Uh, Ken is like from the province, like um, literal country. Like, Yeah. Yeah. There's jungles, um, trees. Right, right. That's where I'm from too. So yeah, Ken doesn't really know much about the city, so that's why he right. got really lost and easily got. And scammed, he also so. speaks Basayan, if I'm correct on that. Ah uh, yes, exactly. Yes. That's the language. Right. I mean, the Philippines has seven thousand uh, islands, and uh, all, uh, throughout those islands have uh, are different different languages. So yeah. yeah, Philippines is pretty diverse. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Hindi, kasi ang sabi niya po sa akin, sabi ko, kinatanong ko siya, sakit, sa, kagayang ka, di ba? Oo, pre. Okay, sige. Bino ko na po siya ng pagayan to Manila. Oh, Tapos sa Sambuanga pala siya. Nasa Sambuanga ako ng time na yun po. Nasa lawa lang, nasa lawa lang po ako. Nasa lawa. Ah, okay. So, pumunta mo po kong kagayan para, <laughs> para dumag-flight. Eight hours din po yung bus trip ko nung grabe, sobrang layo. Grabe na ako pa. Pero sulit naman, di ba? Yes po, sulit naman po. Right? Balikan natin yung taxi story kasi kinuwento nyo sa akin ito eh. Ang ganun yung story na yun na sino yung nakasakay sa taxi tapos nag-play yung music ng SB19. Di ba? Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, kasi mo ganun ako eh, pag ano po, mahilig po ako mag ano, parang check-check check check na oh. ano. Like, ano, <laughs> ah, ano, Pablo kila, loves kila doing that. SB19, di ba? Oh, yan. Nakataxi ka nun. Ano po, po. sabi nung taxi? I never used to do that a lot. Sabi, ano, oh, ha? So, natawa ako sabi, ano po sabi nung taxi driver, ay yung mga SB19, ay oo, oh, kilala ko yung mga ano, mga nagpipiling ng koreano na sinto-sinto, mga <laughs> Oh my goodness! Sabi nung taxi driver, ano sabi, ikaw yun yun eh! Sabi ko si Mike, ay yun! Yung mga nagpipiling koreano nga yung mga yun, sabi ko gano'n. Ano nga yun, nakakabuisit pa na orin eh. Sorry mo lang, pero hindi alam nung taxi driver. Hindi niya po alam. Pero feeling ko po nung bago ka mabubahal, parang nakakatulog na siya. Kasi po, biglang nagbago yung kwento niya eh, pero ano, idol na idol niya na anak ko. Oh, yung anak niya, fan daw. Fan daw po yung anak niya. Ay, ay, ay nga ano, parang... Bumawi na lang. Tapos alam niya po yung mga music namin. Ano, parang may sinasabi na ano, di ba? Ano, pinlay niya po yung music namin. Sabi niya, SB19, o sige, pakinggan natin. Tapos inabot niya, Sep, o sige, ano. I-search niya yung kanta ng SB19, inabot sa amin. Oh, it's your face. Tapos inabot namin yung isa namin performance na live. Tapos di, pinlay niya. Alam. Alam ba? Alam, pinlay niya yung alam. Tapos, eh, kumakanta kami sa likod, bigla lang binuksan yung ilaw, tapos natatanong niya yung mukha namin, tapos kami sa likod. Nagsatago <laughs> 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 kasi baka makilala kami. Ay, ah, ah, po namin na parang like ma-recognize niya kami. Kasi parang so baka ma-mahal ano, siya. Sa sinabi niya. Ako, ako. Pero ang dami niyong nakuha ang ganong salita nung nagsisimula kayo. Ay, so, oh, sobra. Sobra. Sabay sa In unison. <laughs> sobra. <laughs> Ibig sabihin nun, grabe talaga. Oh. Ano yung pinakamasakit na discouragement na nakuha niyo? mula sa um, look, na nag-motivate naman sa inyo kaya kayo nandito pa rin. Siguro po pinakaano po siguro yung walang mararating tapos ay hindi naman po siguro like nakaka-discourage, parang nakakainis kasi or kasi wala naman kaming ginagawang masama sa kanila. Mm. Eh. Uh, ginagawa lang po yung ano yung gusto namin tapos sabi Just doing their own thing. And, yeah. Try to make it. Gaya-gaya na ganito. Oh, sabi hindi na yung big days. deal. So far, lalo na ngayon kasi mas Maraming love na yung natatanggap namin. Mm. From, lalo na from mm. our fans. Tsaka yung mga casual uh-huh. people din eh. Nakikita namin na appreciate kami na parang tables have turned, gano'n. Mm. <laughs> nice. Noong una nga po, parang yung mga nasa headline nun. Ano, Filipino-Korean na SB19. Pero yeah. nung nag-billboard po kami, Proud to be Filipino. <laughs> Bro, the, the, Josh is basically roasting the culture. I mean, here in the Philippines, when you're trying to make it, uh, people would bash you. Actually, But yeah. when you make it, people are like super proud. They switch like, up. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're just like, oh, you you did it? I guess we'll just be proud of you, you did now. It? Oh, I always knew you were going to do it. No, yeah. that's I caught it from day one. Meanwhile, there were the people that were saying, nah, these are these K-pop wannabes. Fuck. So yeah. two-faced, man. Because now there are more people who could be like, no, you're not wrong. You're not right. That's not right. Yeah. <laughs> There could be more backlash if you do that now. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Come on. Josh knows what's happening. I don't know 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 what's happening. 
Meron pong mga ganun kami na parang gusto ko patayin sa inis, parang ganun. Manakit kasi sobrang nakakainis daw kami. Ganun. 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 Parang, pag minsan alam nyo, iisipin yung mga haters. Yung mga sinasabi nila sa inyo, hindi naman tungkol sa inyo. It's a projection mm. of how they feel and what they feel yes. inside. Always they can. It's their insecurity talking. <laughs> yes, I, t- I talk about that all the time. I'm like, it's always projection whenever you're hating on like musical artists because you wish you would be them. Yeah, 100%. When you yeah, you exactly. Wish to be when, there. when you're a hater, it's because you're jealous of something they have that you don't got. You want what they have, but you don't have True. it. So you end up hating on them for not having, for them having what you don't got, basically, essentially. Yeah, it's just, they want what you have. So they want to bring you down to their level. Yeah, you know, hundred percent. Want to take you down? Mm. No lies detected. Just yeah. really hate themselves. <laughs> Kaya yung security nila, cah yung hate nila sa mundo na po project nila sa inyo. Kasi mm. nandyan kayo, pinupursue niyo yung dreams niyo. You're making a difference, hindi ba? You're doing something uh, in your lives. Sa dami ng mga hate na receive niyo, nakarating kayo sa Billboard Music Awards. Grabe yun. Yeah. Ano yung feeling nung Nara- nalaman niyo yun. Ah, kayo ang first eh! Billboard Music Awards! First yun! Ever! Parang di po totoo eh. Actually po si Josh talaga naiyak talaga siya ng time na yun. Kasi nag stream siya ng time na yun. Kwento mo Josh. Oh, yeah. right. no, no Filipino has done it before, yeah. 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 And I saw it in the video I watched like a few days ago where I watched I Finished Your Series. He, they had right. that clip on there when he was like... Yeah, he reacted live and he really yeah. cried. Yeah. yeah. And I was like... Uh. <laughs> So sweet. Yeah. So wholesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like that. I don't look like that. How was it? May rin po kasi yung ginag... Parang gaming stream po. May naglalaro po kasi yung show. Tapos ayun nga po. Announcement na. Then sinabay ko na po. Big gamer, Josh. Yes. Yeah. Then ayun nga po. Then ayun nga po. In-announce na na nominated kami. So para sa akin po ano. Talagang biggest achievement na po kasi namin yun eh. Tsaka yun nga po. Naisip ko yung possibilities na lahat ng ginagawa namin kasi ang goal naman po talaga namin is to inspire people tapos yung mm-hmm. alam niyo po yung matulungan din yung mga artist dito sa Philippines at magbago yeah. siguro ng kahit pa paano kasi marami po magagaling eh kung maga iangat pa natin yung mm-hmm. industry mm-hmm. natin pero Love alam that. si Justin kasi is an honor student Salazar, Salazar. College of St. Benil. <laughs> Parang di ako makapaniwala na ako. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, she's been in the multi-media ah. arts. Hindi ba? Oh. That's so cute. Mm-hmm. You're mad. Yeah, well. oh, yes, grabe. From honor student to performer. Uh, yeah, I mean, most of them gave up their studies. Like Ken, he gave it yeah. up for, for yeah. focus. But this guy just doesn't want to give up. Doesn't want to say take no for an answer. So he kept yeah. studying while training. Yeah. Yeah. Doing it. Yeah. I With understand honest. the others, though. Like, it's I, very I, difficult to be a student and also do something else at the same oh, time. Fact. It's difficult, Absolutely. especially a trainee. So I understand mm-hmm. the, the rest of them and the fact that he continued. I, I could I could never. I could never. Ah, it's crazy. Then, yung, yung, yung achievement po na yun is more of like, hindi naman sa parang matalino, more of parang ginawan ko po talaga ng paraan. Parang mm. ginawa ko kung ano right. kailangan kong gawin. Yeah. Um, naging masipag lang po siguro in a sense. Sa, ayun po. Oo kasi di ba isipin mo honor student ka. Dapat work hard now, rest later. Magpupursue ka yeah. ng career dun sa natapos mo. Nag-breakdown niya. First time ko nakita nag... Ano. Ba't ka nag-breakdown? Hindi po. Um, kasi po, yun nga po. Parang ang tagal na rin na walang nangyayari sa amin. Tapos mm. po, kasi pinagsabay ko po yung studies ko and yung pag-aaral ko during that... <laughs> Pero alam niyo si Justin kasi is an honor student ng Salazar ano College of St. Benil. Parang di ako makapaniwala na. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> honor <laughs> student cute. sa multimedia uh, arts, hindi ba? Yeah. I love that Isn't picture. Yeah, wow. Well. Oh, yes, grabe. From honor student to performer. Siguro po hindi rin yung 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 achievement po na yon is more of like hindi naman sa parang matalino, more of parang ginawan ko po talaga ng paraan. Parang ginawa ko kung ano yung kailangan kong gawin. Um, naging masipag lang po siguro in a sense. That's what they always say. Even Pablo says that. Like, yeah. I'm not smart. I just work hard. I mean, yeah. I can, okay. Very humble. Yeah. Whatever. I feel the same way as well. I feel like I'm not smart either. I just feel like I work hard. Like, honestly, I think... Same anyone, here too, yeah. 
I feel like anyone can do this if they really put their mind to it. Like they don't have to be majorly smart. If you just work hard, like sit there and put your mind to it, I reckon you can just accomplish anything you want. Like I don't really feel like you need to be smart. That being said, Hannah's probably the most smartest person here in this course. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. I, I ranted about this in my reaction to your video where Pablo, like you said that Pablo mentioned that. And I remember being so like, I don't know. I felt really upset about it because I was like, there's, there's no way that you can do all of that and not be smart. You know what I mean? Like, right. I feel like it's not, right. I, I don't really believe that that is true. Like, especially for him, I being an that. honor student is not just like, like if you're an honor student, that means that you're above the others, you know? It's not right. just about getting by, he was doing great. So right. I don't know, maybe that's just yeah. me. It takes not only, I mean, there's, uh, yeah. It says something when you are smart, but it's, it says yeah. even more something if you are smart and at the same time dedicated, right? Yes, you gotta have uh, a also, nice balance. Exactly. Yeah, if, if you're just dedicated, if you're just dedicated, you will be beaten by someone who is also dedicated mm -hmm. and smart at the same time. So yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. So I get that, Hannah. Uh, okay. Ayun po. Oo, kasi di ba ECB mo honor student ka dapat after mo makagraduate magpupursue ka ng career dun sa natapos mo. Nag breakdown niya first time ko nakita nag ano. Bakit ka nag breakdown? Hindi po um kasi po yun nga po parang ang tagal na rin na walang nangyayari sa amin. Tapos po kasi pinagsabay ko po yung studies ko and yung pag-aaral ko during that time tapos um after graduation um parang dapat ang pag-usap namin ng parents ko talaga is magse-stop na ako sa training. Mag mo work na po ako after graduation. Parang hobby ko lang talaga yung ginawa kong training. Pero since nga po kasama ko sila noon, parang ang dami na namin pinagdaanan na naniniwala sila dun sa pupuntahan namin, mm -hmm. nagpatuloy po ako. Sabi ko, pwede naman siguro magpahinga muna ako after graduation, parang ganyan. Tapos hanggang sa <laughs> nag-debut po kami, same year nung pagka-graduate ko po, nag-debut kami. Pero after that, wala pa rin pong nangyayari. Hindi kayo napanghinaan loob mo? So, napanghinaan. Sobra po. Mm -hmm. Yun po yung... Yun yung gusto mo na mag-quit. Opo. Parang after nun, ang marami po ako ginagawa. Actually, nagtitingin na po ako ng ibang audition sa ibang ano. Those who made it, wow. quit. Yeah, Justin actually auditioned. I mean, I talked about it on his documentary, but I'll just you know share it a little bit here. Uh, Justin yeah. um, went on an on audition on an audition for a boy band like show mm. in yeah. the biggest network in the Philippines, and he wasn't ac accepted. Well, good for him. Thank because, God he uh, wasn't. Yeah, thank yeah. God he wasn't because um, that group is nowhere to be found now. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's has been in jail because of that. A massive. Mm. So thank God. You know, something is th things are always meant to happen. I feel like personally, I feel like God always has a plan. So if you don't like find success in one thing, it's because you were meant to find success in another thing. And that's just mm. not what your destiny was meant to be. So I'm yeah. thankful that that never happened. And I'm thankful that it turned out to be this way. So it depends on how you really see it you know i mean that's true. Um, that's true. yeah there are people who don't believe in you know higher being god and um i mean right, right, that's true. sometimes things are just meant to be and sometimes if you want it you can you have ways uh, there are ways to make it happen no matter yeah. what you know yeah. a king fam knows my guy listen to jay dropping the truth facts let's go <laughs> <laughs> shout out to king nah. fam man all right so yeah let's Iniisip ko po, sa kanino ako magtat an saan ako magtatrabaho, naghahanap na rin po ako ng, ng mga pwede kong pag-applyan um, na work. Pero bakit ka nag-stay sa SB19? Um, yun nga po, parang lahat na pag-usapan namin na ano, um, last na, mag-release tayo ng last song. Pag hindi talaga nag-work, wala pa rin nangyari, mag-stop na tayo. Tas, ano, ano yung nirelease yun nyo? Yung go up po. Yun po yung nirelease namin yung yeah. go up. Yung 20? <laughs> 19 po. 2019. So, nung time... Nag-viral. Oh, hindi, pero hindi pa. Hindi pa agad. Pagka-release, ano nangyari? Pagka-release po, <laughs> di ba, may music video po kami, ganyan. Tapos, since last na po yun, binigay na namin lahat. Nag-practice kami, yung sayo po namin. Um, Pin-practice namin 1,000 times. May si Stel po. Pero tulong-tulong oh. po lahat. Opo. Tapos, ang dami namin ginawa. Tapos, pagka-release po ng music video, ganun din. <laughs> Parang wala rin po oh, nangyari rin talaga. Pa. Parang, whoosh. Kailan siya nag-pick up? nung nagla-release po kami ng dance practice video namin. Parang overnight po, nagulat na lang din kami. Na overnight, boom. Namin Someone posted it on Twitter. Maraming tao. Yeah, um, meron pong parang account sa Twitter. And, so you know, cool. 
Yeah, and the post on Twitter is kind of like uh, the fan reacted to Esbeneti. She was like talking about how how yeah. snappy their their moves were and all that. And let me just say that it's, it speaks volumes about the importance of reactors in this space. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, some gonna... people see us as cloud chasers, and I, you know, we yeah. steal views from from um, from the artist. But the truth is that we help we help spread music all over the world absolutely yeah yeah man that's just you know i just wanted to put that there and i i can see that hannah agrees 100 (laughs) percent. yeah i mean i (laughs) talked about it too because i actually recognized the song when i first listened to go up it wasn't my first time i believe i think i've heard it before yeah and i believe that it probably was because of the post because i was like listening to it and I was like, this is so familiar. I swear I've heard this. And someone in the comments was like, yeah, it went viral on Twitter. And I was like, I must have heard about it before. So like even mm. years ago, probably I knew about the song, but like, I didn't know who it was. I didn't know the faces. Right. It was, it was crazy. So mm. that, it, it did, I did it a lot. I'm assuming. <laughs> it shows not even reactors, but fans also have a big, big um, impact as well because Absolutely. it was just a, and that retweeted it and then boom it just went from there you know yes of course so honestly twitter parang ano rin po siya fan account siya ng ng ano na ni-repost niya sa twitter yung video namin na parang ina-explain niya um there's this filipino Shout out to them. group na mm-hmm. uh, tingnan niyo yung performance nila ang, ang galing ng sumayaw parang ganyan po tapos sobrang dami pong naka-appreciate sa twitter and yun po yung point na talagang nag-viral kami na parang hala ano nangyayari pag kagising namin pag tingin namin ng ng mga social media accounts namin parang dumadami na yung notifications and dahil po nakaka-appreciate parang pati yung mga friends namin uy nakita ko yung video niyo ang galing niya na parang sobrang sobrang overwhelming po na yun na yung point na hindi kami makapaniwala na until now pag na, na, pag naaalala ko sobra nakakataas po ng balahibo yung feeling parang nagigi emotional oh, oh. ko pa oh. sino nagsimula na ng 18 nung yung name ng fan group niyo na yan. Nag-brainstorming kami na parang um, kami, SB19. And hindi tayo aabot sa 19 no, not, pag wala no, yung 18. 18. Parang hindi natin pwedeng skipan. Ah, bars! That's bars right there. <laughs> I know. It's very, very um, mm-hmm. cool fandom. And I think really like 18 it. also means ours or something in Tagalog, right? Yes. Yeah, man. It's ours. Atin. Atin. Yeah. Atin. Yeah. Atin. Atin. Yeah. Atin. Atin. Yeah. Cool. Si Pablo po ang nakaisip niya. Oh, parang, nice. tapos, nag, nag, bigaya, bigaya, bilang sabi niya, 18. Tapos, 18. Tsaka parang sariling atin. Ayun po, kasi parang lahat po ng achievements namin, hindi lang siya sa amin, kundi para sa ating lahat. Overwhelming para sa amin. At the same time, pressured kami, kasi nga parang mas madaming tumitingin sa amin. So, mas kailangan, galingan pa namin. Iba sabi nila, to whom much is given, much is required. Mm. So, malaki Tama. ang expectation sa inyo. Yes. Paano nyo nahandle yung presyo? Hindi ba nag-hoddle kayo, sabi nyo dati sa akin? Hinagawa nyo pa yun? Dat, dati po, matindi po yung hoddle namin. Kasi po, uh, meron pong kaming practice na parang everyday, kailangan for 10 minutes mag-hawak-hawak kaming kamay. As in, talagang like brothers, hawak kamay. Tapos, uh, uh, yun lang po, pag-usap, parang yeah. ano. Problem, kung ano, status, problema sa yeah, isa, isa that, parang yeah. issue ka ba sa ibang members or meron kayong something na hindi nagugustuhan sa mga nangyayari, pwede nyo open, parang sobrang, we, ano, sobrang, yun yung free time namin para ilabas lahat ng mga, mga nararamdaman namin. Parang ikaw yung laging sinasabi nilang magkamukha tayo. Ako nga ba? Yeah. Oh, no, that's so true. So much. Yeah, I, I was thinking it kind oh, of. Wow. I was like, uh, <laughs> oh, you actually have it at the back of your head already. You were thinking about that already? Okay. I don't know. I, face this is very recognizable to me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yo, that is so Yo. lined up. Same I know, right? Head position, man. That's crazy. Same dude. head position. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Parami. Hindi ba may mga nagtatag sa akin? Umuha ko daw si Josh. Kung lalaki ako, ikaw ang version ko. Meron mo kasi sa music video namin sa Go Up. Parang nakamukha ko siya, ano? Marami pong instances na nangyayari na kamukha ko daw po kayo. Parang gano'n. Kaya ba? 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 Kaya
May balita ako, may mga celebrity crush kayo eh. Sino yung mga hinahangaan yung Filipino celebrities? Yung nagagandahan kayo. Sige. Ikaw muna, Stel. Ayaw ka sabi eh. Bakit si Stel? Sige, si Stel. Ayaw ka sabi eh. 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 Hannah is kind of getting jittery here because of this. Because I'm serious. I haven't talked about this before. I've heard, so I'm I'm, I'm interested. Oh, 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 pag napanood ko po kayo, sobrang ano, na-amaze po ko pag uh, every time na nakikita ko po kayo sa screen. Tapos mga movies nyo po na napapanood ko, sobrang natutuwa lang po ako kasi sobrang natural nyo po sa screen. Tapos sobrang mm. favorite po yung, ma, sorry ma, mga ganun yung mga ganun yung. So, character nyo po, kung paano po kayo sa kapatid nyo, kay Miss Alex, sa family nyo po, sobrang close nyo kay Tita Pinti. Wow, mga Tita Pinti, <laughs> kalawa naman close. Wala lang po, sobrang ano po, family oriented. Yung ba yung nahanap mo sa isang babae? Opo. Wala, ano may asawa. Happy ako para ha. Alright. Hannah is like, oh, whew, shit, safe. Okay. I'm just joking. It's just interesting to me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Happy ako kay Miss Tony. Grabe naman ito. Pero yung mga hinahanap mo sa isang babae, ganun, family oriented. Yes, ko. Ano pa? Maalaga talaga ng sobra. And very, ano, Very, ano ito? Very good. <laughs> Hindi naman, yung, yung maintindihin. Understanding. Understanding. Lalo na sa trabaho Opo. mo. Opo. Mm-hmm. Ikaw naman. Hinahanap mo sa babae? Oo, oh, ano bang hinahanap mo sa isang babae? Paano ah. naman alaman ng mga 18? Actually, parang kayo rin po eh. Wow! Ah. Ano, ano, kasi po, ano, ah, mahili. These guys are sweet talkers. Come on. I know. They probably say that to every girl. <laughs> they got yes. that real. They got that real. <laughs> They're our type, actually. Say to everybody. Ano, ano po ako parang... <laughs> parang sobrang na-amaze ako and sobrang na-attract ako pag, pag nakikita ko na very passionate sa ginagawa yung isang babae. Kaninong okay. Pinay celebrity ka nagagandahan pag pinapanood mo? Tayo po. Si, si Miss Bea. Si Ken Balita, ako crush mo naman si Anne. Yes. No, Pablo, si you're not allowed. Anne Curtis. Anne Curtis. Hello. So, ano, ikaw naman, ano yung mga tipo mo sa babae? Anne Curtis is Australian, Jay. Really? Wait, hold on. Really? She's I don't a, even know. Yeah, it... she's part Australian. She, she's pretty famous here in the Philippines. One of the biggest actresses. I didn't even actresses. know that. Yeah. I need to I learn about more Anne people. Hello. So, ano, ikaw naman, ano yung mga tipo mo sa babae? Yung naa-attract ka? Siguro po yung... Yung tawag dito, yung free, yung pag pinapanood ko free lang siya, like Just pag tumama, wala, pag tumawa, walang halong filter, like gusto ko lang po yung no. straight forward na babae. Si Justin? Um, para, actually, di ko alam kung tama, pero uh, parang Maria Clara oh, na... Si Conservative. Maria Clara. <laughs> oh, kasi parang balita ko, crush okay. mo naman si Sarah Jerodimo. <laughs> oh, Yun naman ang crush mo. Um, si... Miss Charlene San Pedro din po kasi um parang crush ko rin po siya. Iniisip ko po kasi na parang yung going bulilit, di ba, nung time po na yun. Yun ang era mo, going bulilit. Parang same age po na parang... Same age kay ni Charlene? Parang older po at ako ng one year. Si Josh, ang importante po sa akin yung mindset talaga na understanding. Alam niya kung pa, kumbaga pag may sinabi ako, hindi siya yung parang manjo-judge agad ng mga tao or manjo-judge agad ng ano, parang... Iintindihin niya. Open mind. Opo. So lahat kayo, lahat single? Unfortunately. Ganun. Unfortunately. Just go on. Malit lahat ng success. Maybe, yeah. Diba? Yung love life medyo on the side. Are they still single now? Parang kasi... I don't know. Yeah, the most likely they are. Alright. Ang dami na namin na-invest dito eh. Pablo has some rumor partner. Long I have heard about her. that, and I'm yeah. I'm I'm not happy, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! No, but I, to be honest, what whatever they do, I mean, I mean, it's, it's all good. I mean, yeah, they have sure. their lives. Yeah. Yeah, you got the understanding about it. Absolutely. They live yeah, their own lives. But Pablo is mine. Hindi pa namin na asin yung mga kailangan namin. Pwede naman siguro makapag-antay pa. Ano ba yung mga gusto niyo pang ma-achieve? We want din makatulong ng malaki for our country. Kasi po, pag nakilala na, if napakilala namin yung Filipino music all over the world, para mag- mas magiging interested yung mga foreigners mm. sa country natin. Ma- this this uh, got me thinking. Um, do you have an SB19 in Sweden? Like, do you have like, an SB19 or a BTS in Sweden. 
We oh. don't really have boy groups, I feel oh. like. Um, boy Sweden boy groups? It's very uncommon. I think the most like famous uh, singers here are just soloists. We don't really have that many oh. groups. Um, oh. And sometimes, like, it's just mostly like either soloists or duo, like duos. Um, but yeah, we don't okay. really have any that I can think There's of. There's still a spot for someone to take that. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I would be excited to see what that would be like. Um, yeah. I can't remember any, to be honest. Wow. It's mostly just like bands, like actual instruments playing bands. Not really as right. a group, so they dance and Right, right, gotcha. It's really, to be honest. Okay. Maybe one's in the making already, we never know. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I would love to see it. Swedish has been at it. Mas magiging interested yung mga foreigners sa country natin, mapapakita natin kung anong meron tayo. Yung resources natin at yung culture natin, magandang maganda naman po talaga eh. Siguro, may mga times na tulad po ngayon, siguro medyo marami lang yung negative stuff na nakikita natin, masyadong ano po, pag tumingin ka sa social media, yung iba nga po nagde-detoxify, di ba? Para wag lang ma-stress, kumbaga ganun. Siguro dapat baguhin lang din natin, kumbaga isa tayo sa mga tumulong para magbago. Kumbaga hindi lang naman sa ibang tao, kung nagsisimula rin sa sarili natin, at mm. syempre, sa mga nakikita natin. Ano yung gusto nyong maramdaman ng mga fans nyo kapag napapakinggan nila at napapanood nila kayo ng Pepper Pork? Kaya rin po nila. Kasi um, madalas po na, na nagbabasa po kami ng mga... Nagsishare po sila sa mga Twitter, ganyan, mga stories nila, na ganito kami, ganyan-ganyan. Uh, parang pag nababasa po namin yung story nila, para nakikita po namin yung kami, nung dati kami nangangarap pa lang po na parang hmm. lahat po ng um, hardships na pinagdaanan namin hmm. yung mga uh, natutulog kami sa sahig uh, hindi wala kami makain tapos nagaantay kami na ano parang nangungutang para makakaroon ng pumasahe papunta ng training ganyan uh, lahat yun parang ano eh parang um, hinanda ka eh hinanda ka dun sa ano para pagdating mo dun sa point na at yung tagumpay nandyan ka na parang masabi mo na oy very sweet nito parang ma, ma, ma ano mo talaga ito treasure mo talaga eh. tapos habang nandiyan sila magpapatuloy po kami sa ginagawa namin kasi po yun yun sinasabi nila parang ini-inspire namin sila so very so, much yung inspiration yeah. namin para magpatuloy yun lang pag 18 po yung pinag-uusapan medyo um, soft ano talaga eh part po talaga na parang um, kasi uh, dati po, 20 lang. Pito, nanonood po sa amin pag nagpo-perform kami. Ano po, sa, sa, parang same level lang. Nagpo-perform po kami kasi parang busking type dati. Na parang... Hmm. Saan kayo nagpo-perform dati? Yung saan, 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 Ano yung pinaka-weird na na-performan nyo? <laughs> Gilid ng mall. Gilid ng mall. Uh, parang minsan, may mga times po talaga na parang... Uh, yun nga, nahihiya kami minsan yung mga kakilala namin pumupunta. Kasi yung mga kaibigan na lang namin sumusuporta sa amin. Ako na? 20 lang mm. ang Less than Less po. Than Less po. Po. Parang mak- dati po makikilala namin kung sino yung Siyo. mamunta. Ah, ito si ano. Ayan Kilala po. nyo lang. Kilala po. namin pa sa ulo po namin. Kasi sobrang konti lang po eh. Pero yung performance na binibigay nyo nun, all out lang. Oh, 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 parang 50,000 yung nanonood. Oh, Tawa na po kami na merong, kanwari more than 10. Marami na po sa amin dati yung pagkaganon. Saya po kami nun. <laughs> pag, pag mayro, basta po pag may nanonood sa amin at nakikita po namin na nag enjoy sila, talagang ginaganaan po kami. Kasi kahit pito, kasi mm. sumisigaw, oh, gano'n mo. Parang, parang ma-ano ka talaga, ma-uplift, ma-uplift ka talaga na parang, may tama itong ginagawa ko. May mga events po kami for matatanda. Kasi since Korean company nga po kami, syempre po nilalagay nila kami kung saan saan na, na events na lang dati. Dati meron para silang event na parang, for grandparents, grandparents day ata, yun. Tapos kami, kami yung usual na nagpa-perform doon pagka kailangan nila. On the beginning. Cute, yeah. Yung company kasi yung company namin. Saan pa ba sila kukuha? Hindi eh, kami na yung kukuha nila. Tapos ayun po, doon kami nag-perform. Sa mga matatanda. Oh, po. Oh, Kasi yung reaction matatanda. ng mga matatanda. Ganda. The elders are like, yes. Ito. Pero kung ano, sabi po, ano parang siya. Alam ba nila yung kinakanta nyo? Korea naman po. Kailangan kami mag-Korea. Kinaral nyo na. Tapos meron pa po, siyempre, kailangan may showmanship ka. Sasayaw mo yung matanda. Kasayawan mo nung guys. Ganun kayo. Tapos dati nga po, meron pa po kami mga ano eh. May mga... May mga, marami po kami event dati na Chinese New Year events. Yeah. Mm. Tapos sa mga hotel po, kailangan namin mag-aral ng 
six Chinese songs in ba? one week. Well, well, yun. Mga, mga eight, mga ganun wow. pa kalami in one week. Dapat mga memorize po namin. That's crazy. Nag-break po namin. Nag-break po namin. Nag-break po namin. We learn like yeah. different language songs. Yeah. yeah. Chinese is not easy. It's like a bunch yeah. of random syllables, yeah. you know. I mean, it's kind of relative, I guess, if you don't know the language, right? If it doesn't yeah. make sense, it's not easy. Man. No, it's, it's right, so... Right. I'm trying to learn Chinese right now, but like the oh. tones are so oh. different and interesting. Yeah, I'm not great. <laughs> I'm just learning. Is there anything like, the you theory. can say in Chinese at all? I'll be interested. Uh, I don't. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me think about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm just gonna say hi. My name is Ni Hao Woshu Hana. Wow. Wow. That okay. sounds great. Okay. My codes awesome. are not good yet. I'm trying to learn. Any still. reason why? I mean, was it just you? Did you just wanted to learn it? Or is it a part of school or something? No, I, I just am very interested in learning languages. And I have yeah. been trying to, I, I like watching dramas, especially. And I enjoy trying to, like, when I, there's something different when I don't have to read subtitles. I really enjoy right. that. So. I not only uh, I'm learning Korean too. Uh, oh, but, uh, okay, yeah, that's awesome. More, I understand much more than I can speak of it. So every oh, time wow, I, that's cool. I just I don't usually talk speak it because I feel nervous about it. But yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Wow, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, it kind of makes sense as well. I, I watched a lot yeah. of anime and I I, I mm. understand better than speaking, so mm. I, I can relate to what you just said there. Yeah. Yeah. You just pick up words and then you understand yeah. what they mean. Pick up and patterns so, and stuff, yeah. yeah but true. you can't really say it that well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but exactly. memorizing it in a week, that's crazy. Yeah, there's that's crazy. Six, yeah. six songs. That's, and singing yeah. is so different than talking, even. That, yeah. Like, so you got what tones you, and then singing tones. Yeah, man. What if you say something that is supposed to be kind, but you end up saying it as hellish or I know. something? I know. Right? Yeah, it's going to offend people. <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> Chinese is not forgiving either. If you say like a wrong tone, it could change the meaning completely. You know. Well, the right. tone can change the meaning. Yes, because you you'd be like uh, like because wow. there's like the um, there's like four four tones obviously to vowels. It's like the flat, the up and down, right. the downwards and the upwards, like those so types like, of. All right. So like ni hao ma and then mi hao ma. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like you could you could be saying something totally different if you right, pronounce right. it wrong. So yeah, and totally. singing that on top of it, that must be yeah, crazy. That, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Hindi namin kaya kasi syempre ibang language po yun eh. Tapos wala po nagtuturo sa amin. Kasi sa YouTube lang po pinapakinggan namin paano siya binibigkas. Syempre po, delikado ba kami masabi kang ibang word, di ba po? Tapos pagdating naman po doon sa event, nakaganyan lang po yung mga Chinese. I mean yung mga audience, nakaganyan lang po. Nanonood kasi... Para po, po para sila. Eh. Siyempre, pinighirapan po namin yun, pero para sa kanila, ano lang kami. Normal. Hindi, na, hindi, mm -hmm. hindi nila inaintindi kasi performer lang naman yun. Eh. Parang ganun yung tingin sa amin. Pero iniyakan nyo yun. Opo, yung iniyakan yun. namin. Yung hindi nila alam. Meron pa po isa nakakatawa pong story po. Meron pa po kami isang event na yung umpisa po, kami muna yung magsaserve sa kanila ng food. Oh, wow. Opo, oh. nakaguantes kami, Thank nakasuit. You. Sa hotel din po, pagpasok nila, kami magsaserve ng food. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, sir. Tapos kami magsaserve. Kami magsaserve. Tapos pag tumunog yung music, tanggalin yung glass, bunot ka ng mic, bunot ka ng stage. Tapos kami, ano, yes, pasito. Gaganon po kayo sa stage. May mga ganon po kami ng ano. Pero alam mo, kasi naniniwala ko, lahat ng pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay is a preparation doon sa talagang pupuntahan natin. So kahit gaano ka hirap, kahit gaano ka sakit, kahit minsan ngayon nakakatawa na lang pag iniisip natin, no? Do you think that was important na napagdaanan niyo yung bilang isang grupo? Opo, yes, sobra, sobra, sobra. Kasi po yung confidence din po namin ngayon, kapag na mukha eh. Wala na eh. Parang hindi na po kami kahit yung mga KR pag inaasar kami. Wala hindi na po, hindi na po kami tinatablan eh. Dati po, ano? Ang um, pag pag may event kami, ano kami, magkakarami kami, kailangan namin pumunta ng divisorya, bibili po kami ng mga boots, yung boots na ano pang, pang construction, pang construction worker. worker. Para lang po pare-parehas kami ng itsura, Tapata. kahit po hindi uh, talaga siya ganoon ka-presentable, parang nadayain na lang, pepentelan yung ano, yung mga, dilaw, mga dilaw, ganoon, para kunwari, ano, oy, mukhang maganda. 
hindi po sa Divisoria nagmi-mix and match po kami ng mga damit na meron. Damit mo actually. Usually po before. Dati po kasi siya pinakamaraming damit. Si Pablo yung pinakamaraming damit. Ano na? Yung damit yan. So di ba maraming time na nagsisimula kayo na iiyak kayo sa hirap, sa pagod, sa frustration. Pero nung unti-unti nyo nang naaabot tong success, may time ba na naiyak kayo as a group? Dahil nakita niyo yung bunga ng paghihirap. When uh, time na yun na parang... That's a nice question. Actually, dami, lagi dami po kami naiiyak. Eh. Kahit po nung first release po namin ng kanta na hindi naman po talaga sumigat. Umiyak po talaga kami. Parang inabangan namin na uh, lumabas siya sa... sa I feel that uh, 100%. Ano, ano, Been there waiting. Maluhaluha po talaga kami. Kasi parang... Even kami, just from my own upload, I'm saying they're like... Kami, <laughs> oy, ano, I need to wait for my premiere to come out. <laughs> True, Same. like um, it must have feel nice, you know, uh, because yeah. um, you know, you feel like oh, I have a Spotify song, I'm an artist now, even though yeah. nobody listens to you, right? Yeah, no, so like it, it, I'm still there, like that yeah. is itself. You left a mark in the world. Yeah, yeah so to when speak. I- That's so awesome. When I first posted a song, it was whatever too. I thought the same. I was like, oh my god, I'm on Spotify now. I'm an artist. I'm legit yeah. now. I could be called a rapper. <laughs> yeah, dude. Amazing. That's awesome. Na na platform na parang in three years na pinaghirapan namin na mag-training parang ano parang um, a step forward na artist na kami ito na yung simula parang tuloy-tuloy na natin to kahit hindi tayo makilala ng tao at least, um, at least nakapaglabas na tayo ano mag- magtiwala lang tayo at dadating yung time na makikilala rin tayo ng mga tao saan yung dream ng perform namin? So um, before we, we let them answer that, uh, have you seen the clip where Esben and Teen were just dancing um, in the mall, random mall? And yeah. Everybody's uh, uh, barely watching. Yeah. You too, yeah. Hannah. Have you seen it? Yeah. I think yeah, I've shown I mean, some clips in my documentary. Too, yeah, yeah, I saw a couple in your documentary where they were just dancing yeah, and like different. nobody was around them really. They were just in the middle. Yeah. I yeah. put some yeah. in my own too, so I have seen it. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Like <laughs> even. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. When they so were there asked... for nobody or one person, they were always like growing full ball at it. It didn't matter one person, 10 people, 20 person. They always perform the same. Let's go exactly. hard in the middle of nothing, basically. It's crazy. Yeah, go hard or go home for sure. Exactly. So, so Tony was asking them where they, do they want to perform and they Did answered. Do you want USA. <laughs> so, yeah, USA. They and made they it like, they were touring all over USA already. They, went there went out back there many two shows. times yeah. yeah dude and they're coming back soon ito pa nga po namin malibot yung Justin Pinas smile kasi hindi namin natapos yung concert po namin mm. dapat Philippine tour nyo oh. oh, po apat lang po napunta namin dapat sampu mm. um, eh parang ano naman po unfair naman po sa iba na parang yung iba Ay. na magbigyan tsaka may araneta pa kayo eh grabe pala yun Ay, no sa akong lockdown March 19th baka oh. pag araneta naman ay when it started Oh, I wish. Po. Oh, yeah. Yun po, yun po yung isang pinakamasayang experience. Kasi po, May perform guys a wish. Oh, po. Kasi, so, pag, nung nag-train po kami, lahat po, yung mga kanta po nila yung pinapakinggan namin. Pag nag-stretching kami, ganun. Um, like, Ben and Ben, ben. madami po. Mm, that was a crazy Tapos po, nung parang pag nakikita. Yeah, I talked about that too in the, in the documentary. Yeah. Nakikita namin yeah. na in person, parang namamaha. Oh, namamaha. Oh, parang pinapakinggan ko lang ito before. So, oh. Artist na pala, parang... Ma- so, ano yung feeling nung una kayo nag-perform sa Araneta, Kalis? Gigil na gigil po so, kami. Yeah. Parang, yun po yung time na parang, uh, alam ang patunayan natin na magaling tayo. Kasi, artist nung nanonood sa atin, hindi lang, ano eh, parang normal na audience, eh, baka pupunahin tayo nito. And yun din po yung first na biggest awards night na pinuntahan namin, yung wish na... Ah, parang T Awards ata na pa namin. Oh, three awards awards. Awards. Wow. wow. So proud. Parang pag binabalikan natin yung mga humble beginnings nyo, nakaka-inspire. Right. Mm-hmm. Nakaka-inspire na yung pagpatuloy yung mga pangarap, huwag mapanghinaan ang loob. Kasi kung nakaya nyo, kakayanin din ng mga mm. nanonood sa atin. Kasi parang yung pinagdaanan nyo, against all odds. Eh. Yes, so, may mga times kaya pa naisip ako dati, malas ba ako? Ganun. As in, literal tinatanong ko sa sarili ko, malas ba talaga ako? Kasi, Kasi parang puro talo. Ako, mula bata mm. ako hanggang sa pagtanda feeling ko, wala pa ako success na na tata mo. Nung It was that losing in life. Na, It's made them yeah. win in life. Right. What so, up? Ano, ano, ano talaga na. <laughs> nung, hindi naman pala ako malas. <laughs> Wag mag-give up. Mm, so you can facts. go up. 
<laughs> yes. So you Ay, can go up. Damn, son. True raw talent wow. right there, man. True so raw talent right there. So good. Acapella. Uh, Wow. That's yeah, what amazing. a story, man. So that was it. Um, 100%. Dude, like... Um, pretty. Just a testament from of... Yeah, from hum yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, from humble beginnings to where they're at now. That's insane. Wow. Man, they ain't stopping. They, they, they still they're have... only going to get bigger yeah. and better. Yeah. Man. Yes, absolutely. True. Just an amazing <sighs> story. So 100%. inspiring. Yeah, it gets you going, you know. I mean, if they can do it, why can't we, right? Whatever you 100%. do in life, whatever walk of life or whatever passion you want to pursue, yeah, Perfect. just go, right? Just go. They're, they're, they're a walking testament, like walking yeah. proof that you can do it, whatever you want, you know, whatever you're inspired to do. Like, look at where they came from. They came from, like, a lot of hate, a lot of bashing. Yes. Um, you know, they came from bottom of the barrel now they're all the way they're getting to the top and it's just absolutely i'm proud of them honestly mm. yeah. very inspirational wow yeah. so 100%. that was our reaction guys for uh for sb 19's tony talks interview um oh. yeah all right lovelies that was all i had for this one thank you so much for enjoying it and again if you haven't checked them out yet please check out both of the VODs um, for these live streams. I really had a fun time. So um, you'll not be getting all of the, because they had an interview section and a lot of questions were um, asked and we had, you know, some parts where we just talked. Um, so you're not going to get the that from any of these videos. So again, please check out the uh, full VODs on Chuck Ch Chuck's channel. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will be checking out other interviews in the future, um, including the Korea Times one, the one that I was originally going to start with, that one that's like way in the beginning, um, and a bunch of other ones I'm planning as well. So just ch keep your eyes out for that one. And thank you again so much for enjoying it and being a part of this. And um, I really had a fun time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and joining my little family here on YouTube. And if you like this video, you can like it. And if you have anything to request from SB19 or any other artist, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.